Hi, this is Dr. O'Connor. Welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. Here we're told that gold crystallizes in a cubic closed pack structure. Well, that's almost identical to a face-centered cubic unit cell. We're given the density of the gold and we're asked to calculate the atomic radius of one atom of gold in angstroms. Well, remember an angstrom is equal to 10 to the negative 10 meters. Okay, how do we find the radius here? Well, here I have a figure of a face-centered cubic unit cell. And from this, we know that we have one eighth of an atom in the eight corners. So that's a total of one atom. And then each face contains one half of an atom and there are six faces. So that would be three atoms and the faces. That gives us a total of four gold atoms per unit cell. We're asked to find the radius. Well, recall that in the unit cell, the atoms are touching in the face. So this here would be one face of that cell. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm trying to draw this line straight, but it might not be very straight. Okay, so here we are. Uh, so we go from here to here, and then I can draw this down to here. So we have this right triangle. I know it doesn't look like a right triangle here. I wasn't able to keep my line straight, but we have this right triangle, okay? So we'll say this, this length here is A, along here is B, and the diagonal is C. Now, we have a right triangle, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem in order to determine we need this diagonal. We need to know the length of C. If we look along the diagonal here, we see that we have one, two, three, four times the radius, okay? So we need to find the length of the diagonal here, or C. And so using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared, the diagonal. Now, because this is a cube, we know that A equals B. So I can rewrite this as 2A squared equals C squared. And then if I take the square root of both sides, like so, I end up with the square root of 2 times A. And this would be, A would be the edge length. Okay? So the square root times A, the edge length, would be equal to the length of the diagonal, C. So let's keep this in mind. Now, in order to find the length of the diagonal, we need to determine A. We need to determine the edge length. Okay, well, we're given a density here, and this tells us the number of grams per cubic centimeter. The cubic centimeter is the volume, all right? So um, from the volume, if we can find the mass of one unit cell, then we'll be able to determine the um, volume. So let's go ahead and find the mass of the unit cell, okay? And the mass of the unit cell is we have the molar mass of gold is 197 grams per mole. And we know that one mole of gold atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So one mole of gold, 6.02 times 20, 10 to the 23rd atoms, okay? And I know that I have four atoms per 
unit cell. Okay, so I can just go ahead and calculate this and I end up with 1.31 times 10 to the negative 21 grams per unit cell. Okay, so I know the mass of the cell. Well, from the mass of the cell I, and the density, I can determine the volume of the unit cell. So the volume of the unit cell would be 1.31 times 10 to the negative 21 grams. Okay, and we'll go ahead and multiply that by, we'll use the density here as a conversion factor. So we have 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. And let's see, that's going to give us 6.78 times 10 to the negative 23 cubic centimeters. So I know the volume now. Well, because I know the volume of my cube, uh, volume of a cube is just um, side cubed. Okay, so that's going to give me this edge length here, A. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to take the cube root of the volume. So the edge length, A, is going to be equal to the cube root of the volume, 6.78 times 10 to the negative 23rd cubic centimeters, take the cube root of that, and I end up with 4.08 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. All right, um, we need to go back here, and again, I'm trying to find the diagonal, the length of the diagonal, so I now have A. So the square root of 2 times A which is 4.08 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeter will give me 5.8 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. So this is equal to the diagonal C. Now remember what we said. We have 4, 1, two, three, four times the radius, okay? So C is equal to four times the radius, okay? And so what we wanna do here is solve for the radius. So the radius then is going to be the length of C, which is 5.8 times 10 to the negative eight centimeters divided by Four. and that gives us 1.5 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters for the radius. Remember, we were asked to determine that in angstroms. So we'll go ahead and convert the 1.50 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. We'll convert that to angstroms. We know that one meter a hundred centimeters and we know that 10 to the negative 10 meters is one angstrom and this will give us 1.44 angstroms. So from this data the radius of a gold atom is 1.44 angstroms.